We're back here on the grill. Uh, we exercise, so now we can eat. Uh, and we're cooking up with Travis Randall. He's a rock and roll barbecue chef. And has cooked for a lot of celebrities out in California, rock stars, things like that. And uh, we're kind of doing your style of food today, you know, that it's California fresh. It's sort of a fresh. California mixed with a little bit of Wisconsin, oh. still. I, like I don't the see any brats. I know. It's not big up. People, that's a little too much, I think, for the sausages, but you, you we guys, still make them. You guys eat healthy out there, though. You really do, but it's still full I don't flavor. eat that healthy. <laughs> hey, I, I hear you. But anyway, um, we made these great uh, carne asado tacos and then the, that yummy Baja sauce beach food, you know? So it, and you can make all that stuff the day before and just show up at the beach with it. It all cooks really fast. It's easy to cook on campfires, nothing fancy. and. It's, it's perfect beach food, I think. Simple, so. affordable, too. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You don't have to go out and get filet mignon to make these. No, um, don't. Yeah, don't <laughs> at all. Um, and just great for a backyard party. Okay, uh, we got our tacos. We need some salsa, some great, fun salsa, you know, to serve with some chips. Well, growing up up here, the salsa I always have is just red in a jar, you know, El yeah. Paso or whatever yeah. it was. Getting out there, realizing, you know, that it's just a sauce with tomatoes or tomatillos um, gives you a lot more room to experiment and things. And I love the the real fresh flavors of tomatoes when you roast them. So that's what we have going on over here. We're taking our peppers and our tomatoes and we're just getting a little bit of color on them. And it works like the same way a red pepper would. I mean, it brings out all the sugars and everything. It's a different, it's a completely different food when you grill it. You know, I mean, yeah. it's taste and everything. I've never so. done that. So we, um, we just took ordinary tomatoes or, you know, when you can get wonderful ones at the farmer's market, it looks like you took out the seeds. And yeah, I, I cored them and pulled all the seeds out. And that mostly is just to get rid of the water. Okay. So when we blend it up, it's not too, too liquidy. I mean, we just want the meat of the tomatoes. And you can use any tomatoes. Like, uh, Roma's, uh, they're small here. Right. I noticed they're yeah, a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah. So these are, are uh, the on-the-vine tomatoes. And you can roast these. Like, you can see these now. They're getting color. Perfect. And you can take it all the way till they're black if you want a really, really dark sauce. Okay. It's not going to change the flavor much, but okay. it'll change the texture and stuff. So straight up on the grill, no oil, no nothing. Nope. You can oil it if you want to hurry the process, but okay. I would do nothing. So Love we, that. We just put all these into a blender. Looks like what? We had about five, five, six tomatoes? Yeah, this is about five. Okay. And then our jalapeno peppers, again, just straight on. And same deal, all peppers grilled are they're just so much better than uh, than straight i mean it's just Agreed. a different flavor i love raw jalapenos too so we'll remove if you could take the stems off of these absolutely you want the seeds out too nope nope we're that's where all the hot those. is that's okay where like. we want spicy so then over here on the back of the grill what i had going is these are chili diarbles and we just sort of pull these apart we would roasted Ooh. these so they break and you can mm. see how you can smell them Smell when you, unbelievable. When you buy them from the store, you can't smell the bag at all. But a little bit of this roasting will bring it out. So these you'll find kind of like in that, um, sometimes in the ethnic section of your yeah. grocery store, in a bag. And okay. I had no problems finding these here. So. Okay, cool. Jalapenos right in there? Yep, throw them right seeds in. Seeds and all, everything right in there. And then tell me about these. So these are pumpkin seeds, hulled pumpkin seeds. And you, usually you roast them. You try to get most of the moisture out. They'll get a little bit more brown as they go. Okay. But you just take this... What it'll do is it acts as a natural thickener instead oh, of adding other things. So okay, so like you put pine nuts and, and basil. That's yeah, the same type of. And thing. it gives it, uh, it a woody flavor a little bit, like but just slight. So we put all that in right into the blender, and okay. then the, like we said, the recipe, a closer one, will be on your website. But you put. You're gonna be in charge of that one. The That's good, good stuff, stuff here. And then in here, I just have some garlic and some cumin. Okay. <laughs> so we'll dump a little bit of this in there. Really healthy sauce. I mean, big time. Now, if you're doing this for the kids, you're going to serve this for the kids, leave the tequila out. Right, right. <laughs> and then we add just a little bit of water that'll just sort of. I noticed that was hot water. Is that important? Well, Man. that water is cold. This is all very oh, hot. okay. And all then right. the big thing, That's what and a little is. bit of sugar. Okay. A little bit of sugar. That should be good. Okay. And then, uh, and then we blend. And then everyone knows, right, that this is very dangerous. Because we have really hot vegetables in here. Sorry about that. And uh, you could have, you could risk the exploding blender, which we don't want yeah, to happen you at your beach party. So, so start out slow. Tight. Okay. And then we get a bowl to pour it in. Yes. Last thing I'm gonna add, let's add a little handful of cilantro here at you the bet. end. You bet. We got some nice fresh cilantro. And One you can, depending on how you want it to look, you could garden. you could add this um, chopped, you know, to give it more texture or anything like that that you want. So some people like it really smooth, some people like it chunky. 
color. Wow. So that's pretty much it. Look at so that. So we want to pour that in our bowl. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Travis, I can just smell that. And that's like, when you first make this or cook salsa, because a lot of people don't make it that way, you'll realize the flavor, if you tested it right now, will be very different than it is in two hours. So okay. yep, you want to let it sit on your counter, cool, and this will keep, you know, for a couple days. So put it in Tupperware, and then the next day you take it to the beach, it's great on the tacos. Great with chips straight up. Oh, great with chips straight but up. But definitely refrigerate that um, and, uh, like you say, get the flavor on it. That's gorgeous. And you can add onions or you can any number of things. But so. I never thought of it. The, the key is roasting those vegetables. It is. It, yeah. it totally changes. I mean, you can smell it. It changes yeah, the flavor and stuff. I, it and you does. can add red peppers. I mean, like I said, salsa means sauce. Mm -hmm. So whatever you like a lot of, add more of it. You know, like people get too stuck in recipes sometimes and they think they have to follow. Unless you're baking have fun with it and make it taste like you I like agree it, you know, and you know so. what I think everyone here uh, most people when they make salsa they think of the canning it and all that kind of stuff which is fabulous but there's a certain point in time where we have more tomatoes and more vegetables than we know oh. what to do with you know try try grilling them roasting them and making salsas there all right I'm ready for a margarita I don't know all about right. you I got my tacos this is the best time of the pasta morning salad. <laughs> so margaritas margaritas are something that is over complicated everywhere I go when I was in Arizona I learned how to make margaritas. Teach Everyone me, teach me. drinks Sonoran margaritas, so that's what we're gonna make. You know, because we all had that good margarita and that not so good margarita, so I wanna, I'm ready yeah. for a good one here. So we want the limeade, the cheapest stuff you can buy. Okay. Don't buy fans, I mean, you want the worst limeade and the best tequila. So go to the grocery store, frozen, frozen food, concentrate. frozen juice limeade concentrate. All right. Mix it up, so we add three parts of that. Ice in our shaker. We got ice in our shaker. Okay. So that's about, a cup there we added. Okay. And then we go equal parts of triple sec and tequila. Okay. So will put a shot or so in there. And triple sec is basically what? It's like a liqueur. I don't know what it officially is. It's, it's like sort a, of like... Kind of take a little bit of orange liqueur. Yeah, a little bit of yeah. orange zest sort of flavor. And then tequila, we want to use 100% blue agave tequila. Yeah, let's talk about that for a minute. I know out there you guys are tequila connoisseurs. Like, oh, definitely. You know. Well, people sip it out there, which you don't Ooh. see much of that out here. But the... Definitely, if you want a nicer morning, the 100% blue agave will be those tequilas. Kind to you? The very kind to you. So <laughs> don't, never go cheap on tequila or whiskey. Always spend the money. So. Does it matter? Because I'm, when I'm picking out tequila, there's some gold. This happens to be silver. What do you prefer? There's absolutely no difference. No difference. Okay. All right. So, so it doesn't anyone matter. that tells you they can tell the difference is lying. No. Okay. <laughs> Just go for the good stuff. Look for that blue agave. All right. So. And we never ever blend margaritas. Okay. That's terrible because it infuses way too much water into it and. It's no I'm good. with you on that. I like mine on the rocks. So I'll shake this up. If you want to put a little salt on our rims. You bet. Got these fun little glasses here. Oop, my Will they fit in lid. here? Yeah. By the margarita salt. Sometimes, if you wet the glass, it helps a little bit. But we'll see if this. A little water. And if you don't get all the salt, you'll be good too. Let's take. Yeah. We'll figure this out one way or the other. <laughs> I'll get the other one for you. Cool. Mm. There so we go. just a little goes a long way. You so bet. it'll be perfect. We gotta shake it, shake it. Did you shake yep, it? Yep, I shook it up. That's the fun part. We put a lime in each glass. Mm. And some ice cubes. All right, and then we just strain it out and pour it. It should be delish. And like I said, I mean, you can, sometimes this is nice if you float it with like a little bit of orange juice on top. Okay. But if you want to give it more color, but I think they're good just like this. I think Cheers. we should check these out. I think so too. <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Whoa, that is refreshing. That's a California breakfast. Yeah. <laughs>